You know, we joke that I-35 will forever be under construction. Now add another project. And this is the big one. K10 News at 6 starts right now. Hi everyone, I'm Lisanne Anderson. Evening everybody, I'm Bob Brickeen. A groundbreaking today signals uh, I-35 is about to become whiter. K10's Alexander Porter highlights the project and how it could be the beginning for interstate expansion in Oklahoma. I-35 is getting a major makeover by the Texas Department of Transportation, including its expansion and the construction of two new bridges over the Red River. It's just as much a, a safety project as it is a, a capacity project. Officials with the Texas Department of Transportation broke ground Monday morning to kick off phase two of the I-35 expansion project in Cook County, costing $482 million. It will expand I-35 to six lanes from U.S. Highway 82 in Gainesville to exit one in Oklahoma with enough right of way to become an eight lane interstate when traffic volume increases. We're also improving the safety of this roadway by flattening the curves, add some bridges, some railroad crossings along the frontage road so the frontage roads will be continuous. Two new bridges will be built over the Red River. The current northbound bridge will be demolished and the southbound bridge will become a frontage road. We can build that northbound bridge, uh, attach the approach pavement to it, get northbound traffic over onto that new bridge, and then we can build the southbound bridge. This I-35 expansion by TxDOT is a jump start for Oklahoma Department of Transportation staff who are also planning to widen the interstate. We have started a plan. We have done some six laning down here at the Red River, so we're going to work our way north towards Ardmore and then with a plan to get at least a Purcell as we come south out of Oklahoma City. Construction of TxDOT's Phase 2 of I-35 expansion is expected to start in late September or early October. In Gainesville, Texas, Alexander Porter, K10 News.